another practice. You know, this can exhaust our brain as we continue practicing. I hope you're breaking this up into pieces. So here, go ahead and read, answer, and then go through the solution. So this one, they've already drawn the free body diagram for us, which is nice. We have the normal force. They've labeled it as capital N instead of lowercase n. That's fine. It still represents the surface pushing on the block. Mg, always straight down towards the center of the Earth. We know the acceleration pointing down the incline. This particular question wants us to relate the normal force to mg. Now, I've mentioned this before. It turns out any object moving on an incline, it's typically helpful to rotate the coordinate system. Not only because it can decrease the number of components of vectors we need to find, but it will also make it, in this problem, since the block is accelerating down the incline, its acceleration is completely in the x direction of this rotated coordinate system, and we can say the acceleration in this rotated y direction is zero. If we do not rotate the coordinate system, we have to break this acceleration into x and y components, which is totally doable, but it increases the algebra and relating the unknowns together. So just a reminder, any problem where an object's on a slope, hill, incline, for s simplifying the problem's sake, rotate the coordinate system. So here in this rotated coordinate system, there's no acceleration in this new y direction. There's no acceleration perpendicular to the incline, which means we can balance the forces in the y direction. They have to balance out. The normal force is completely in this y direction the force of gravity, though, only has this component. When we rotate the coordinate system, the angle of the incline is always between mg and the new y-axis. So this side would be mg cosine theta. Having no acceleration in that direction means the normal force must equal mg cosine theta. Now we do need to recall that when we take the cosine of an angle, we always get something between zero and one. Now, depending if the angle is greater than 90, we could technically get a negative number, but we have already accounted for the direction. So theta, the incline angle, is somewhere between zero and 90 degrees. If we take the cosine of 0, 10, cosine of 10 degrees, cosine 20, if we keep going through there, we find that the numerical answer is going to be somewhere between 0 and 1. Meaning, the normal force is only going to be a fraction of mg. n is going to be less than mg in this case. If it was greater, then the normal force, somehow that surface would be pushing that block away from it. So it's really good to get in the habit, draw the free body diagrams, figure out x, y components, relate that to the motion, specifically the acceleration, to figure out the size of the forces. Okay, we're going to have one more example in the next video, and then we'll actually start 
solving numerically, solving problems.